Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a functional equation. A nice and easy one, hopefully. We have f of x over 2 plus 4 over x equals x squared over 16 plus 4 over x squared. And we are going to solve for f. In other words, we're going to find an expression for f of x in terms of x. Now, I'll be presenting two methods. And let's start with the first one. For my first method, I will do what is the most typical, calling this expression, the whole thing inside the parentheses, something. How about t? Let's call this whole thing t. Our goal is to find f of t in terms of t, then we can just change the variable. Because the variable doesn't actually matter as long as you use the same variable on both sides. So let's go ahead and see what this entails. x over 2 plus 4 over x equals t from here we should be able to solve for x and then whatever that is in terms of t we can plug it in hopefully here so our goal is to find an expression for x in terms of t of course and then plug it in on the right hand side make sense and obviously when whatever we find for x should give us t on the left hand side and we can check that too so let's go ahead and cross multiply or whatever you know multiply everything by 2x this is going to be x squared when you multiply by 2x this is going to be 8 and this is going to be 2xt now since we're trying to solve for x let's go ahead and turn this into a quadratic in x like this and if you don't see that it's actually quadratic oops I erased too much then you can go ahead and actually look at it differently like this and now it should hopefully be more clear. So this is quadratic in x. The square, the coefficient of x squared is 1. The coefficient of x is negative 2t. Now we can solve for x using the quadratic formula. Let's go ahead and use that. From here, x equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 4t squared, minus 4ac. a is 1, so 4 times 8 is 32. And now we can simplify this a little bit because 4, you can take out the 4. The square root of 4 is going to be 2, so it's going to be 2 times the square root of t squared minus 8. And everything is divided by 2, which is good because now we can simplify it and write it as t plus minus the square root of t squared minus 8. Now, could we get this result more directly? Yes. If you used uh, completing the square method, you would get that right away because it would basically give you something like this. You would put the 8 on the right hand side. And then to complete the square, you need to add t squared to both sides. And then you would add t squared. And that would give you this. And then of course, this is x minus t squared, which then can be square rooted to give us two solutions with the plus minus sign. And obviously, it's going to be the same as these. So it's a little better sometimes, especially the coefficient of x is even 2t. I would just consider that even because it's easier to find then I would go with probably completing the square method. Okay? So that's the value of x, but there are two values. Which one should I use? The answer is it should not matter, or we don't care. Whichever you like. I like the first one, the plus sign. So let's go ahead and plug it in. Now, again, here you don't need to check that, but if you do plug it in, you should get f of t. Make sense? Now, let's go ahead and see what happens on the right-hand side, which is more interesting. This should turn into a t automatically. And on the right-hand side, I need to replace x with this, right? So let's plug it in. So that's going to give me x squared, so t plus square root of t squared minus 8 squared over 16. And then here, plus 4 divided by the same thing, right? All right, we're going to have to square some radicals in you know, make a common denominator, so on and so forth. Let's do it. If you square this expression, the radical expression, you'll get t squared plus t squared minus 8 plus 2ab is going to give you 2t times this. All of that is divided by 16. And here, you're going to get something similar. Now, at this point, or before, you could have multiplied this by the conjugate, but since it's a square, it's going to be the conjugate squared. Make sense? And at the bottom, you'll probably get a simpler expression. So let's go ahead and do that for the second part. There is going to be a second part here, which I'm actually 
uh, not writing at the moment, but you know, it's just going to come from here, dot, dot, dot. Let's go ahead and work on this separately. So I can go ahead and take that, and I would probably just multiply by the conjugate squared. So it's going to be t minus the square root of t squared minus 8 squared. And then, of course, I need to divide by the same thing to keep it balanced, right? Now, the numerator is just going to be a jumbo mumbo, 4 times that square. We can expand it and multiply by 4. But the denominator, let's go ahead and do that in the next step, is going to be more important, t squared minus t squared minus 8. And then the whole thing needs to be squared because it's kind of like conjugates squared um, are being multiplied. And here we're going to be getting positive 8 squared is going to give us 64. And 64 is going to go into 4. Uh, and we're going to get a 16 here. So to keep a long story short, our second expression is going to be this. Let me write it down and then I will go ahead and plug it in. So here we're going to get this expression right here, squared divided by 16. Remember, 4 goes into 64. That comes from here, right? Okay. So here's the first part. Here's the second part. That's going to go here. Fill in the blanks, right? So let's see what that gives us. We can simplify a little bit here. So f of t is going to be 2t squared and then minus 8 plus 2. Minus 8 plus 2 actually can also be, wait a minute, I can't do that because this is 2t. So I kind of have to keep it as a product. Yes. So I can't really simplify. I thought it was a, just a 2 plus 2. And t kind of looks like a plus sign, by the way. This is divided by 16. Again, we can simplify this, divide everything by 2, and then plus this expression right here because that's what we got. Now, I can go ahead and square it and simplify it and then plug it in. But the nice thing is, actually, it's better not to simplify because you've got the same denominator. Beautiful. So now what we, can do, what we can do is just simplify the numerator as much as possible. Let's go ahead and expand it. Uh, kind of easy to confuse the, these t's with, maybe I should pick a different variable. Plus, this is going to give me t squared plus t squared minus 8, but this time it's just going to be the minus sign. So it's going to be, it has an opposite, so that should cancel out. These two terms are going to cancel out. And 2t squared plus 2t squared is going to be 4t squared minus 8 minus 8. And then that's going to give me a minus 16 and divided by 16. So this should be, when simplified, divide everything by 4 is going to be f of t is going to be t squared minus 4 all over 4. Obviously, there's more than one way to write it, but let's go ahead and talk about the second method real quick because the second method is real quick, okay? If you see the trick, of course, because this is a trick problem, right? These problems appear on math competitions, and there's always a trick, almost always. So here's the deal. I notice that I see x over 2 and I see x squared over 16. Good. That tells me that I can square this expression to get something like this. But the numbers don't quite agree, but we'll get there. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call this t again, but instead of just solving for x, I'm going to do something else. Let me show you. I'm going to square both sides. If I do square both sides, I'm getting x squared over 4 plus 16 over x squared, plus 2ab, which is going to cancel out. x is going to cancel out. 2 is going to cancel out. It's going to give us a 4. Nice. Now, notice that that did not give me the expression on the right-hand side, but if I multiply this by 1 fourth, I get that expression. Make sense? Somewhat? Okay. So here's what I'm talking about. I can basically handle it this way too, by the way. Instead of um, multiplying by one fourth, I can actually factor out, factor out a one fourth here. Let's do it. So this is going to be x squared over four plus sixteen over x squared. You notice that here I factored out a one fourth to make my expression on the right hand side look like this, and it does look like that. And that is equal to t squared. Beautiful, right? So what am I getting from here then? Oh, I, I'm forgetting the four here. So let's not forget that 4. So that should be, let's make sure we got that. Okay. This is actually not the expression that I have. So I should probably write it this way. It's better if I fix this a little bit. This should actually be, 
equivalent to this. So let me fix that first. Okay, here's what I have. So my equations are correct, and there's a 4 here. Let's not forget that. So now, here's what I have. f of t equals this, which is 1 over 4 times this expression. And that, that expression actually can be written as t squared minus 4. Make sense? t squared minus 4. Because I subtracted 4 from both sides. I hope this was... Uh, Explanatory, self-explanatory somewhat, okay. And that should give us the exact same solution, and yes, it did, awesome, great. Well, this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.